it's definitely fast. It's going to be a, a bit of a, a raw power versus CDA, so your drag um, coefficient basically sort of course. It's not so much a weight power to weight sort of uh, course. There are some rolling parts that will help me obviously a, a lot more than some of the bigger guys, but I'm hoping for a, some uh, some solid headwind, um, even if it's a tailwind on the way back, uh, headwind on the way out with a bit more climbing will definitely help me when it comes to comes to Friday on the, in the TT. Yeah, it's it's definitely a super quick quick course. It's really flowing. There's a couple of corners, but there's probably only two or three times that you probably really need the brakes. I'm I'm predicting somewhere over 52k an hour average, which uh, is also because it's a little bit shorter. It's uh, if it was a longer course, you couldn't go as go as hard when it came to uh, pure power. Uh, you'd have to pace it a little bit more, but. Uh, being 32 kilometers, you can you can almost go all in, and and uh, it's going to up the speed a lot. Those two little climbs, and then you get onto the circuit. Things a little bit lumpy on the circuit, but not not too crazy. But yeah, it, it's definitely going to be. Uh, there's going to have to be a bit of pacing strategy behind going hard, but just leaving that couple percentage for that last 6k. So. Uh, it's, uh, it's one of those ones where it's all in, but just that 1% off for, uh, for that final bit.